This is the combination ruler. Here with this project I wanted to create something truly useful. And I think this turned out great. The key to this project is filament changes. You need at least two contrasting filaments to make this project work. But the idea is to change the filaments on layers 15 to 19. Each color change contrasts the one before it to create a uh, pattern. In this case, lines and text. If you're only using two colors, change at layer 16 from your original color to your contrasting color. Then, on layer 17, switch back. Then, on layer 18, switch back to your contrasting color. This will give you the separation you're looking for. Then, finally, at layer 19, you can switch back to your original color or you can just leave it because this is only going to print the rest of the screw and it will be hidden in the future during assembly. Here I'm swapping the filament for a quick color change. This method is a crude form of multi-material printing. Crude, but extremely effective. If you notice your numbers aren't printing well, slow down your printing speed slightly. This can improve the result. With this design I wanted to incorporate metric and imperial so you'll find both measurements on the ruler and this video uh, I wanted to post this much sooner but it's been about eight or nine months now and what a better way to tell if you still love a design and you know even eight months down the road I still love this design so let me know what you guys think. Short assembly here, only two pieces to glue up and some minor cleanup.
just applying a small amount of glue here. Um, in the download, I'll have a diagram listing the different parts and the glue locations, and that'll be available in the download. As for the tightening nut, you have two options, one with TPU grip or without. I prefer the one with it. All that's left to do is put it together. If you like the project, feel free to head over to Colts3D to download and leave a comment and let me know what you think.